Hello everybody. Um, today I have modeled with my um, student this uh, object, one elephant, and I'm going to show you how you can also do it with a Rhino sub-D modeling tool. First of all, I delete it and make from scratch. I use the curve tool, degree three, uh, sub D friendly, yes. It's not really important. So, the first curve, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I have one control point. more and so it should be the body and this type of curve we need a uh, four so another one and another one and another one Uh, I have a I have a show as a shortcut uh, F10. You can you can display the control points. So now I. I'm going to adjust the control points because now is a bit uh, massive. So, so and this is uh, our body for our elephant. It's okay, and the nose. Something like this, and here and another one. So I can also copy paste it. So you can uh, press Control Shift, uh, Control Alt, and then drag the gumball to copy and scale it in one time. So if you uh, have it already, so you can select this three curve and then drag it a bit to the top. Oops, this one. Hmm, I have uh, enabled the uh, record history. So if I drag this one, the another one will be followed. So I'm going to delay the history and then now I can drag this three on top and then to create the sub-D faces I use the loft, sub-D loft. By loft command is uh, important that you choose select the curve in order. So one, two, three, four, and then corner yes. The nose also, corners yes. So we have it. So of course we can adjust the shape a bit but it's uh, not important right now for us because I'm just going to show you how you can model it. I'm going to delay the curves because we don't need more. Now we can delay uh, one face here on the body and I'm going to stitch it. We can also bridge, but bridge is not so good, so I'm going to 
do with the stitch tool. Select this tool. Select this tool. And here we have a, a place where we can place a quark faces. So I'm going to do the append, select the object, right click to confirm it, and then draw the face. So now and then enter. So and for the for the foot we are going to we are going to uh, join it of course we can do here the bridge but i think we now need here more faces so i'm going to do with the with the insert edge and choose the type of ring one, two, and we can delay these faces, or we can just do it with the bridge right now. Bridge. Join, yes, so we can delay it. One and two. So we have the shape. We can rotate it and then we can go into do with reflect. Reflect, choose the axis, pick up one point and hold up. It's not correct. So basically, we have the elephant now. Um, you can also close the hole here. I'm going to do some, I'm going to adjust the shape a bit. It looks too, way too big right now. Set PT, Z, yes. Almost we can also extrude it. So and yeah, this is it. It's really easy. And see you next time. Have fun with Rhino. Bye.